Road to Comic Book Cover of the Year starts right now. Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Get ready to do Road to Comic Book Cover of the Year 2018, week number one. Man, that's a lengthy title. But yes, this is a brand new video series where it requires you, the viewers, for your votes to get to that cover of the year 2018. So let me give you the instructions for this first installment. So every week, I'm going to show you my top six covers of the week. And you, the fans, get to vote out of those six what your favorite cover of the week is. And by the time we get to the end of the year, we will have a final voting or some kind of bracket or something to determine that winner. Now, only one vote per person. If there's a cover that you do not like out of the six books that I present to you, I will offer you, the viewers, to pick a cover of your liking and put it in the comments below. And if that particular book gets a, another vote or accumulates the most votes for whatever reason, that book will be nominated for possible cover of the year. So we're going to have a lot of these. So hopefully you'll be in store. You know, you'll be with me through the long haul with this thing and uh, we can have a lot of fun with it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about my six covers of the week. So my first one goes to The Walking Dead issue number 175. This cover is a pretty badass cover because this anticipated a really new story. It got people on the edge of their seat. The banner says it all right there. New world odor. These guys look like stormtroopers. And you're like, man, these guys look badass. This is going to be a badass book. And it gets you all excited for it. I really enjoyed the cover of this book. The book itself was really good. Um, but if you want to vote for The Walking Dead issue 175, please put it in the comments below. All right. Next book, my number five cover of the week goes to X-Men Gold, issue number 19. This is a nice looking cover as well as it stays traditional to the uh, original X-Men here, covers from like the 90s. Um, you know, it's they, they got the white eyes, you know, old man Logan doesn't look so old, he just got gray hair, they're all wearing their cool red and blue uniforms, um, it just looks like there's a lot of action in there, and you're just like, man, what's going on in X-Men Gold? I gotta pick this book up. So that's why this got my number five cover of the week. So if you want to vote for that cover, again, please put it in the comments below. My number four cover of the week goes to Injustice 2, issue number 17. This just looks awesome. I mean, uh, you just got like the Amazo robot unleashed. It's frying people as you get to see them in like their skeletons. And you get to see Plastic Man out here trying to do battle against him. And you got Batman sitting there and he's doing battle against him. But in the actual issue, they don't actually fight. You just see this. So, really cool looking cover though, and uh, it looks awesome, gets you excited to read the book. So, that was my number four. So, again, if that's your favorite, please put it in the comments below. Next one, my number three cover of the week goes to Batman and the Signal issue number one. Really nice looking cover here as you get to see Duke and Bruce in their costumes looking over Gotham during the day. And that's something that you don't always see. And so when you read this book, you actually understand a little bit more what Duke represents for Gotham. So this is a nice looking cover. The book may not have been its best, but uh, I really enjoyed it. And it gets you excited to read this book. So great looking cover here. So that was number three. And my number two cover of the week goes to Guardians of the Galaxy. This is issue number 150. This is its 3D looking cover, as you get to see here. It is lenticular, but it doesn't really change at all, but it is 3D-like, and it looks really awesome. Um, this is nice, as you get to see Warlock here, Guardians of the Galaxy, this lightning bolts flying all over the place, and you're like, holy shit, Warlock's coming back. I have to pick this book up. So it looks really nice. So number two cover of the week. And last but not least, my number one comic cover of the week goes to 
Phoenix Resurrection. This is issue number two. This is the variant cover as we get to see Jean Grey in her Marvel Girl costume with the nice looking skirt and the boots and she's using her psychic powers. This is a beautiful looking uh, cover. Um, it's almost like something that you could maybe purchase at a store as a statue uh, or whatnot. This is a really nice looking cover. Definitely my favorite cover of the week. So if uh, I had to vote, this would be my pick. But I don't vote. Again, this is for you guys. What is your favorite cover of the week? Out of those six, pick a book. If you don't like any of those six, pick your own book. Remember, only one vote per person. Now, if it comes to a tie, I break the tie. So, stay tuned for that. So, guys, hopefully you enjoy this new video series. This will go every week, all year. And, uh, and by the time we get to the end of the year, we'll have our cover of the year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So as always, fans, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And I'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye.